Hey everybody, 72 Winnebago here, and I bet a lot of you are probably wondering why it is I'm re-uploading my GTA review of the coach. Well, apparently it was blocked by Fox from using that one clip from the movie Speed. So I'm having to re-upload this review again, but without the clip. So I guess I'll make it a rerun. Hello, and welcome once again to the cars of Grand Theft Auto. Now before I begin, there's something I need to address. As many of you pointed out, some of my videos on the Cars of GTA have been getting cut down to 5 seconds. I don't know why this is happening, I guess I'm going to have to talk to YouTube, but knowing how they run things around here, I don't know what's going to happen. But I just want to say thank you to the people who pointed it out. Anyway, getting back on topic, I can now talk about The Coach. No, not that coach. The one from Grand Theft Auto. The coach first appeared in GTA 3, followed by Vice City and San Andreas. Now, stat-wise, again, this is another obvious one. The acceleration is pretty much non-existent, being slow as all hell. Overall speeds are fairly average once you get it going. And the handling... Ah, oh, the handling's crap. And the fact that it's one of the longest vehicles in the game doesn't really help much either. But despite the coach's poor stats, I find it's good for one thing. Mindless rampages. Now I know it's very slow, and it can't handle very good. But, once this vehicle gets going, it's very hard to stop. And most other cars are just going to bounce right off of it. Which just makes it a real fun vehicle to drive. Now I guess I should also mention that whenever you stop by a bus stop, you're going to be able to pick up passengers. However, you're only going to get about 5 bucks or so. Now as far as appearances go, well, I'll be honest, I know jack shit about buses. But I'll describe it the best I can. In the first game, GTA 3, the bus was boxy but had a very rounded off front end. It seemed to have a very big plastic bumper and was one of the few two-tone vehicles in the game. In GTA Vice City, however, the bus was given a more boxy shape and was decorated with metal siding and a thin two-tone stripe. In GTA San Andreas, however, the bus is more or less the same, they just kind of refined it a little bit. Now as far as GTA 4 goes, well, it was rumored to be in it, but apparently it was dropped at the last minute. Overall, the coach is not a great vehicle, but its sheer size makes it a ton of fun to drive. 